Hello everyone and welcome in this video. Today we will start coding in Minecraft. You might ask why you need to code in Minecraft. Mm. The simple answer is that it can be fun. You can build huge buildings. You can survive in survival world with help of your agent. Or you can create simple mini games which you can play with your friends. My name is David and I will show you what you need and how to start. Let's dive in. All right, we will start simple today. I will show you how to create this huge text with only one shot command. Firstly, you need Minecraft Bedrock Edition on PC because this unfortunately doesn't work in Java or Pocket Edition. About Minecraft, you have to download an application called Code Connection from Microsoft Windows Store. I will put the link down below this video. You don't need to be worried about the installation. It's very easy and straightforward. Just several clicks on the next button. When you finish the installation, you will see this icon in the start menu. This is it. You're good to go. Start Minecraft and then code connection. Click here and then open Minecraft. After that, click again on start and open code connection. On the first screen in code connection, we have got the connect command. Press this button on the right side to copy the connect command. Go to Minecraft, uh, press play, and then choose existing world or create new one. When you will be in the world, you will be able to uh, copy your code connection command into your world. Just simply press enter, click here on the command line, and then press Ctrl and V on keyboard to paste your connection command. Then press enter again, and it will connect the code connection to your Minecraft world. Switch over to code connection. And the second screen will show you the choices of editors. I always suggest to use the make code because the simplest one and also most integrated with Minecraft. Uh, on the first screen, uh, we have got two main things. It's the new project button, which we will use in a second. And also you've got a bunch of tutorials and some examples of code. It's good to explore because you will see what is possible in uh, Minecraft with the coding environment. When you have everything connected, you get a guest in your Minecraft world. A special mob called Agent. This is him. Cute, isn't he? Let's get started with our coding. First of all, click on new project. Type some name in there. Let's say print text. It'll do and create. In this new window, you will see two main parts. The left column is library of commands, which you can use in your Minecraft. And the big gray area is basically the space where you build your code. In here, we have got most importantly, place this play button, the green button, which will start the code in your Minecraft. So don't forget to press this button if you want to test your code. Uh, let's get started with some coding. Uh, we have got uh, blocks and there we'll find a print because we want to print something. So we'll drag and drop this here. Now it's good to note we have got two types of block in Minecraft. Uh, the first one is command block. This basically will do some actions in your Minecraft world. And you will recognize this block easily because it has got dent on the top. The second type of block is this event block it doesn't have any dent and everything what is inside here will be triggered by this event so if i want to print something in my minecraft i just click this inside this block we have got print hello so they will print the text inside here in in this place so i will type something in um let's say my name uh, then we have got off second line which will tell us what blocks I will use uh, for the printing. There is only one limit and you can not use blocks which are not stackable. You can't put them on each other. So for example flowers wouldn't work. But I will use let's say a glass block. It is quite cool. The third line is coordinates. 
and these coordinates tell us where the text will start. Whenever you will see 0, 0, 0 with the little waves in front of it, it means the player's position. It's your position where you are actually standing in Minecraft right now. So in our case, the text will be printed from my position. Along is the direction where the text will point to, so let's keep it just west for now. Uh, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I might do one more adjustment to uh, the onchat command block. So onchat command run is not too accurate, so I will change it to print. So it's more, uh, it's closer to the purpose. Uh, to start and test my, my code, I will go to here and press the play button. Switch to Minecraft and just press enter to see my command line because we won't use on chat command print. So I will type print in here, press enter, and it will trigger the code. As you can see, it start printing my name. Mm. Yeah, here we go. And done. It's not the fastest one, but it will do the job. Simple, isn't it? Now, you might wonder if there is something more interesting. Right, there certainly is. We can print from TNT blocks. So try it by yourself, and I will show you what you can try in a sec. Did you make it? Cool, here is my example. It's not enough? Okay, how about that? Can you figure out how to call that? If not, here is hint. Check it out. And now you know what to do. Cool. This is it for now. But it doesn't mean you need to stop. Play around discover something else and share your experiments in the comments. I will see you in the next video.